Good morning, everyone. Hello. Good morning, good morning. From wherever you are in the world. Hello, people joining. Hey, hey, hey. Wait for some of you more to join. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, TikTok. Good morning, Band Lab. Good morning, YouTube. All the places that this will end up. Wherever you are today in the world and on the, on the net. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to hop on here and share some of my um, stories. Give a little update, something that might bless you in your day to day. Um, I've had a really blessed, really blessed week. I have some stories to share where it might encourage you. But before we start, I'm going to pull a card from, what is this? The universe has your back. Who's here? Tell me where you're from. Those of you that are joining, pop a comment or a, something in the comments. So I know who's here. We have... I always trust the direction of the universe and know that I am being guided. This is perfect for what I'm going to be talking about just now. Trusting the universe. I am being taught that you can trust the guidance of your soul. The guidance of your soul. Your soul has a path. Okay, it's a little bit like... Um, this music is distracting me. I'm going to put a slower one on. Flow state. Let's do that. Um, I'm learning that your soul has a path and spirit is very gentle in its guidance. We can, we have free will, we have free choice and we can go left and we can go right on our path. But ultimately there is the way of the soul. Hi. There is the, a path that is designed for you and the way which is going to be aligned perfectly for your gifts, your experiences, the things that you've come here to experience, the people that you're going to meet. Thank you for the flowers and the hearts. The people that you're going to meet, what it is that lights you up, having that authenticity and that soul passion, that purpose. And of course, Life isn't always easy and more often than not, we learn through the things that we walk through and the difficulties that we face, but we always overcome and we always, it always aligns to what it did. There was a purpose in it, shall we say. So um, recently, those of you that know, I was talking last week about um, taking a slight different direction in my, in my path because I was doing something that just was burning me out and it wasn't it wasn't aligned to my soul path there was nothing wrong with the the job itself um however it just wasn't right for me and it was meaning that I didn't have enough time to do my offerings like this and um obviously there's that doubt in your mind of well how's that going to work logistically um financially and what will I do instead and it's obvious it's becoming more and more obvious that it's more of my kind of spiritual aspects and things. However, there was that doubt or potentially could have been a doubt or that worry that, you know, maybe we can't afford for me not to work or it's going to be a little bit of a less each month or whatever. But spirit was like, you, you know, <laughs> like your soul knows the way. So you know what to do. And um, so I, I handed in my resignation and then there was all these Inc like all these things coming at us like we had an unexpected bill to pay that was a significant amount we had school trips and it was like oh you know like how how is this going to work but I just kept hearing and knowing and sensing spirit will um spirit will look out for us and it's absolutely fine and it was a case of you know don't worry trust the universe and um, I was talking to my partner in the evening and it was like, we really just don't have to worry. I just know that the universe has always provided for us. And it's more important that we tell the universe that you trust it by doing what it is that you love. And that 
that feels like play. It feels like playtime when you're doing your soul path. So when you're saying to the universe, oh, I, I need the money to come in or I need that situation to change. And then that's not faith, right? Faith is stepping outside of the boat. Faith is um, almost walking on water and saying, I believe that this is what I am supposed to do in my life. So therefore, everything will come to me. I, I, I attract. I've written a song, we might play it later. You know, we don't chase, we attract. Um, exactly, rejection is divine protection. Yes, totally. And, and, you know, like I said last week, I could have stayed in that position and met, tried to make it work, but I just knew, I just knew that this isn't right. Anyway, so I was chatting with my partner that evening and I was like, you know, I know we've had a lot of money and it can seem a little bit, what's going to happen? I said, but, you know, spirit's just going to take care of us. And going back, my my um, middle daughter kept seeing the number 444. You know, we're always looking out and seeing angel numbers and numerology and she kept seeing 444. And I'd been seeing, seeing a lot of numerology and patterns in, in, in numbers on number plates and stuff. Um... So she kept seeing 444 and she said, oh, mom, I keep seeing 444, you know, divine. And uh, anyway, we'd had this conversation. I, we went to bed and the last thing I said was, we don't have to worry. The universe is going to provide. Oh, I missed a bit. As we were talking, spirit just flooded me. And I, it's sometimes, hi, soul astronaut. Um, I sometimes miss that wave of the Holy Spirit. But this came over me again. I, the only way I can describe it is like a beautiful, warm, fluffy blanket. And it just, it, it embraced me. And I had this vision of this really large terracotta pot, um, which is like a garden pot, yeah, with those sort of orange terracotta ones. And it was filled, or almost filled with soil. And it was huge. And we've just physically moved house recently. And it felt like this terracotta pot represented the new season of moving like physically and also moving energetically like this was a new chapter and this was being represented in this vision of a terracotta pot with the soil in it and spirit said there's still like an inch left of soil to put in your pot but this pot represented us as a family right but also I was seeing that we were all individual ter terracotta pots as individuals in the family and spirit said you can't see it yet but it's like a spring bulb that's been planted in this soil. I, universe, has planted within every single one of us a bulb or a, your, your soul path or your intention. Spirit knows what's already in there, right? What's in you and what's, what's in my children and my partner. And, and we were all looking at these pots in this vision. And Spirit said, you can't see it yet, but there is something coming. There is a new chapter coming and I'm going to provide for you as a family and it's going to be exciting. And I was hearing in, in the summer, you know, things will change. You would have shifted and changed in some capacity. Where you're heading is almost like you're telling the universe, I'm following my soul path. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time doing things that just don't align. And in doing that, you're going to blossom and grow and flourish in the area that um spirit's taking you and then i could hear scripture in in my in my mind and it was saying behold i'm doing a new thing and i was like oh, i know the scripture but i couldn't remember what it was so i said oh quick look it up behold i'm doing and it was talking like behold i'm doing a new thing and i was like it's like in isaiah and the part's like yes it's in isaiah like googling it and you found it and it was um try and remember it behold i'm doing a new thing do you not perceive it it will spring forth um, I'm making a new way. And I was like, oh my God, that's the perfect scripture that ties in perfectly with this terracotta pot analogy that Spirit had just given me. And um, I just knew Spirit was like, this is going to be a beautiful time. This is a new season. And not just for me, I felt like I had to send that verse of scripture to my, my daughter who's in university and my dad and various other people. Like this is, this is the collective feeling of behold, I am doing a new thing. Can you not perceive it? Like do do you not have like a sense that something's coming? Something's going to change? Do you not have this some, a very, just tune in. Like, do, have you not had a sense that something exciting is coming or, or, or you're going to be doing a new thing? There is a new way. Um, I think it said something like, I'll make a way in the desert or something like that. It's a new path, forging a new path for yourself. And um, yeah, I, it was just a beautiful, like really download 
clear message and then it was confirmed with this scripture. I went to bed, we fell asleep, and then in the morning I woke up and there was a notification on my phone and I just grabbed it and I didn't have like my reading glasses on and I was like, what does that say? And I saw this number 244 and I thought it was my work had sent me my final like pay of £244 or something and I was like, what, what, what's that? Like, this, it, it was like in my banks, it was like a bank statement. And I, was, and I was looking again, I was like, no, there's more numbers than I expected. And it was 2444, three fours, um, 2,444 pounds had just been deposited in my bank. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, what? And I, my, my partner was like, what's going on? I was like, I've just been given 2,444 pounds. I don't know where it's come from. And so I looked in my bank and it was um, a back payment for something that uh, was owed to me. Um, I won't go into details because there's people that don't need to know that. Um, but it was a backdated amount that was mine um, and I was entitled to it. And it had come in the very next day after saying the universe will provide. And the 444 was absolutely hilarious. I got up, I told the kids the, the, the vision and... Um, Oh, hang on, somebody's at my door. Wait one second. I think it's my post. <laughs> Sorry about that. When you do lives, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, so then um, I took my daughter to college and we were laughing about it, saying, what are the chances of it being 444 in the number? And just, you know, I wasn't expecting that money. I didn't know it was coming. I had absolutely no idea. Anyway, we drove to college. I dropped my daughter off and we were laughing. And as I drove out of college, there was a car in front of me. And the number plate was Y444. And I was, and then it had some other numbers. And I was just like, the universe is just hilarious in the way that it like speaks to you and confirms things. And I just knew I, I'm supported, you know, and I've never been, or I used to get very kind of like, um, I admired people, but I couldn't understand how they did it, where they would manifest money. I'm healing. I'm currently in separation with my twin and I'm evolving. Self-care, self-love, bettering myself. That's brilliant. Stay on the path. Keep doing what it is that you know you need to do. Keep healing yourself. I'm also on a healing journey and I've been documenting that a bit. It actually came up in the cards. So I just want to encourage anyone that's listening now or on the, on the replay. If you're worrying about provision or how things are going to work for you but you know that you want to do something don't think the way the world thinks the world thinks I'll do that when I have enough money or I'll do that you know if I can line up all my ducks and what sometimes the universe just requires for you to have a bit of faith and just trust and I had this unwavering faith that I had to quit one of these jobs I do other jobs as well but this particular one I was like I need to make space and room I want to make room I want to have that pot ready you know so that the the plants or the or my gifts or who I am has space to grow and I couldn't do that when I was just filling all my time and energy so I made space which was an act of faith (laughs) saying I'm going to put that away um, and and go for what it is that I know that spirit's calling me to So I'm just going to read these cards as well, because we had quite the same kind of message coming through. So some some of you might be in a state of indecision and there are two paths to take. You've got the number eight there, two paths to take. And it could be like I was a a little while back, like, do I stay at this job? Do I keep pressing on or do I change? There is a state of indecision. When you're at that place, make sure that you just sit with spirit and sit with yourself and decide not what seems the most logical often it's not the most logical Uh, the way of spirit is often back to front upside down tipsy-turvy it often goes against the most um norm the norm it goes against the norm so if you are in a state of indecision and you're trying to decide between one decision or the other go with go within like only you know really ultimately and then you follow that there is an energetic um blue path in front of you i call it like the blueprint of your life and it will literally guide you but you've got to almost 
get into a place of darkness and solace to be able to see it illuminate in front of you, which is going in, right? And then we had anxiety. Now, this was where I was at before I um, decided to make a change. I was really anxious. I was getting very stressed out. And that in itself also told me that it wasn't the right thing for me because it wasn't bringing me joy in the way that I wanted it to. It was getting me quite stressed. It was quite, you know... So if you've got that anxiety, that's also a kind of a, 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 an indicator, shall we say, that maybe it's not the right thing for you and maybe you need to step away from what is bringing that anxiety and, and look at why you're continuing in something that perhaps you don't enjoy. And then I had um, community. So we've got this lovely card here with the community. When I pulled this card, it, it, it instantly made me think of the communities that I'm in. There's like the band lab community, there's Instagram community, and there's, you know, in, in real time, real life communities that go on when I teach my classes or whatever. But I think this next season is a real season of uh, being in community. And maybe you're going to be changing the community that you're currently in to go into a new community that is more aligned to who you are and more supportive of who it, who you want to be. Sometimes when we're in um, communities and we've, I don't know, outgrown our identity, shall we say, let's say you've evolved and you've done some healing on yourself and you, you can't, you're not interested in what those people are interested in anymore. And maybe you're energetically, you're not aligning with them and that's okay. And you can, you can gently remove yourself and go and align yourself with people that are of similar mind, similar um, principles and morals. Um, and if you stay true to who you are, hello everyone joining. Um, if you stay true to who you are, then I think you attract your tribe, you know, um, and you also attract a lot of people that perhaps aren't in your best interest. You've just got to be mindful and wise about those things. But ultimately, I think choose your community, choose people that are going to support you People that aren't full of drama, um, that that aren't afraid to say, well done, I support you. And then we have the woman holding the coin. Now, this spoke to me as well, because this talks about, you know, you're sitting there in your luxury. You know, spirit will provide. And you're going to have perhaps some of you, when you move away and you just follow your soul, there will be provision. There will be, this is the coin, isn't it? There will be money, there will be finances. It might not even come in the form of money, but in the form of provision, it could be food, food, clothing. You'll be provided for and you don't need to worry. Um, she doesn't look, she doesn't look like too down on her luck, does she? She looks pretty happy with herself. So that's the energy that you're calling in. And, and if you look, even just at these four cards, we're starting with the indecision. This is almost like the story that I just told. I started with indecision. Maybe you're still at this place and you haven't decided. And then it's bringing you anxiety. Well, let's get rid of that then. Make a change. My, my anxiety levels have just dropped, like melted away. That to me was a sign. I'm on the right path. I did. I made the right decision. So I didn't realise how stressed out I was until I actually cleared space and decided to come back and do what it is that I love doing. Community. Make sure that you're in community with people that align and you'll be provided for. This is for someone here. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Stop worrying. Don't worry. Do not worry, do not fear. Behold, I am doing a new thing. And it will spring forth. Do not perceive it. Do not perceive it. It's coming. You are stronger than you think. And your strength assures you a happy outcome. A happy outcome. Not a stressed out, burnt out, indecided. Indecided, is that a word? You know what I mean. A happy outcome is, is going to come your way trust this is this might be for you here a time of healing this is a time of healing so make sure you nourish yourself and maybe just sit down with a journal and write down all the things that you're involved in and all the things that you do and notice how you feel in your body love you too notice how you feel in your body when you're looking at these things and and notice which one makes me feel anxious at the thought of doing that and do a tick like I had some work stuff and I had like my band lab music because I sit and when I would see the laptop and the work, I would be like, oh, it would stress me out. 
Um, and then the things that I love, I'm like, ah, oh, can't wait to get on there and make some music. Talking of music, let me find, let me find the song that I wrote yesterday. Actually, I'm going to, hang on, I'm going to put this song on for you. And I want this to be your, I'm gonna, maybe after I've done this live, I'm going to drop it in, um, where are you? I'm going to drop it on, on, on my um, squares, on my Instagram page and listen to it and make it become your mantra. Where are we? Right, here we go. Let me just, I'll put it on in a sec and we can go out to that. But let it be your mantra. Um, also, this was, this card came up about conquering your demons. And the, the write-up, actually, the, the write-up was saying they thought that they'd defeated you. And that was a message for me, so it might be a message. They thought that they defeated you. They thought they could bring you down. But they can't. We are divinely protected. Right, here we go. Uh, where is it? Listen to this song. Let this be your mantra. Right? It's called Bring It To Me. And the words are, I don't chase, I attract. So bring it to me. summer hopefully we're both really busy doing our thing be blessed i love you until next time take care